Hello everyone, welcome to the U.S. Embassy and my personal residence here at the, on the U.S. Embassy compound. Today we're going to take a little journey around my residence as I show you the art that I have both acquired in my personal collection over the years, but also a particular program that we have at the Embassy called the Art and Embassies Program. Through this program, American artists will lend their artwork to U.S. ambassadors throughout the world to demonstrate the variety and the diversity of our artwork and to introduce people to some American artists. So you'll see today as we walk around a combination of my personal art, not the ones I painted of course, ones that I've acquired in my journeys, and also the artwork of artists, American artists who are here. You'll see a constant theme. Um, one of them is the color blue. I love the color blue because it reminds me of the ocean and of the sky. And for me, the ocean and the sky are both representative of limited, limitless possibilities and also a little bit of anxiety depending on how turbulent the seas can be and how turbulent the skies can be. One of the reasons why I particularly am attracted to Cyprus and why I feel at home here is because you're surrounded by water and the sky is a blue that I've never seen before in my life. So I will always treasure my memories of Cyprus during the time once I leave here and during the time that I am here because of the color blue that I see everywhere. So I hope you will join me as you take a journey throughout my house and see the collection I have and I would like to share it with you. The first painting I'd like to show you is a painting by George Minicoponte. He's a fellow New Yorker, so I'm a little bit biased because I'm from New York City, as many of you know. Um, George's painting is part of the Art and Embassy program, and he's participated in the Art and Embassy program over the years, and I'm very lucky to have his artwork here. I chose this piece because, again, it has many, many different types and variations of blue, which I love. But I also see in this painting birds, I hope you see them too, um, but it's one of my favorite paintings and I'd like to introduce you to a very great American artist, George Nicoponte. The second painting in this room is actually personal. I acquired this when I lived in Italy, where I had the chance to live for over six years. This painting reminds me of all the Tuscan countryside, where I used to go for long, long drives of the beauty and the glory of the Tuscan countryside. Again, it's one of my favorite paintings. The third painting I'd like to show you is a painting by Dionisio Blanco. He's a Dominican painter from the Dominican Republic. He was my neighbor, and it was my first diplomatic assignment overseas. I got to know Dionisio first as a neighbor, then as a friend, and then as an artist. This is one of my great treasures because it was one of my first big purchases of art, but it was also the first art that was done by a friend. And Dionisio, Dionisio was a very famous artist and he even had his art uh, auctioned off at Sotheby's. But first and foremost, I see him as a friend as a neighbor. The next set, uh, obviously they're not paintings, they're photographs. They're done by a woman named Bernice Abbott. And Bernice was from originally from Chicago, but then she moved to New York. She's what she's called a surrealist. A photographer. But actually, more importantly, these are the scenes of New York City from 1936. My father emigrated to the United States from Ireland in 1936 as a 10 year old boy. And this is what I imagine he saw when he first moved to New York City. And the things, the signs of the city, that are so different from the contrast of the farmland that he grew up in in Ireland. So I try to put myself in my father's shoes to see what an overwhelming, or what an exciting thing that New York City must have represented. So every day I get a chance to see these photographs, I think of my father, and I think of the journey that he took. I also like a lot of contemporary artwork. And these are three representations of contemporary artwork. Um, a lot of different prints. It's a little different types of uh, how they've created each print. And you'll see the story of them when you get a chance to read the, uh, the booklet that will be published later on this year. But it's a great story of contemporary art and print work. These two paintings are obviously done by the same artist, a woman named Anne Raymond. Anne is from uh, studied in Texas and got her degree in the University of Texas. Her art has been exhibited throughout the world, including has permanent exhib uh, exhibitions in the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. These two paintings, more than anything else, represent the sky and the sea to me. And again, I find it both a little disturbing, but also very calming. And uh, the colors, depending on the light of the day, you see different things in the painting. But again, they are two of my favorites, and she's part of the Art and Embassy program. And I'm very, I'm very grateful to be able to dis uh, display two art pieces of art by Anne Raymond. The last things I want to show you in this room are different ceramics that I've acquired in my personal travels and my professional travels. 
this is, these are tiles from Israel, where I've traveled a couple different times um, in my life. These plates are from Uzbekistan, where I have not traveled, but when I was living in Russia, there were some fabulous um, displays of artwork and ceramics from around the world. And I had a chance to buy some Uzbek plates, and to me they're also great designs, and the intricacy of design is really fabulous. But again, you see in these plates the color blue, which seems to be a theme throughout all my collections, of whether it's art or ceramics or a quilt, which we'll see next. So this piece is a piece by Michael James. This is a quilt, this is textiles here. And Michael puts, does digitally imposed scenes on quilts. Now quilting is a very big American tradition, and what I really like about this piece is that Michael has bridged traditional quilt making with contemporary art and art techniques. And again, this is really a really fabulous piece. Again, it's to me, it also shows water and movement and possibilities. And uh, again, it's such a fascinating mix of media, both digital and, and quilting. Okay, this last painting that you'll see is a painting by my friend and neighbor, Dini Soblanco, from the Dominican Republic. This painting represents all that I've said about the division and the dis in this inability to distinguish sometimes between the sky and the sea. I don't really know here where the sky begins and where the sea begins, and where one ends and the other one, and the other one starts. To me, this also shows the very provocative nature of the color blue. And to me, it's both calming and a little bit disturbing here because there's no limit between the sky and the sea.